Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, of the two historic tropical storms that were said to going to be impacting the United States, Tropical Storm Marco has petered out late Monday, but Hurricane Laura uh, poses the highest threat. It could be a Category uh, 3, maybe even a 4 when it strikes the U.S. possibly late tonight or tomorrow. They're saying it could have winds up to 115 miles an hour. Here on Twitter, Bob Pack showed the areas where they expected to have at least 9 feet of flood water. He said he figured it might be a good time to post the Category 3 storm surge hazard. It includes Louisiana, parts of Texas, and Florida. On this map that he posted, we have Houston. Galveston and I'll pull it over here yeah I wish they would have put some of the city names in this area over here another one of his Twitter posts says hurricane warnings hurricane watches tropical storm warnings tropical storm watches storm surge warnings and guess what there will also be a tornado threat added into the equation over time and here's an enlargement of what he posted. Devin Wade posted for anyone newer to Houston who thinks Hurricane Harvey is what a hurricane is like. They are incorrect. Laura is like Ike, Rita, and Alyssa, which is much more frightening. I'm going to show you what earth.nullschool.net showing of its current location. And pulling it down towards the western side of the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, look at this wind here. Everyone should take this storm seriously. Forecasters say severe impacts expected from Hurricane Laura. It's projected to be a major, and I mean a major hurricane, before even making landfall. Now there was another post that says that according to latest forecasts, it will bring this storm up to a category 4 intensity before even making landfall. This evidently is a microwave image of the hurricane. Almost looks like a monster with its arms stretched out. Now this was taken um, sometime early this morning I guess according to the time here. Changing the settings here on earth.noschool.net this is what it shows for me. Yeah, it's intensifying. And then the changing the settings again. I believe this is moisture that's being brought in. And let me bring it out a little bit. So you can see what's going on up here by Louisiana, Florida, and the western side of the uh, Gulf of Mexico. This here is what the National Weather Service posted about 10.25 a.m. Heads up, today is the last day to prepare for Hurricane Laura. Evacuation zones are based on potential storm surge. If an evacuation has been ordered, life-threatening storm surge is expected. Get your loved ones to a safe place. Their life depends on it, and don't forget the pets. Another Twitter post from the National Weather Service, this was as of 9.11 a.m. And it says here, the earliest reasonable arrival time for tropical storm force winds. Um, this was as of 4 a.m. And here they had a projection that looks like about 8 a.m. to make landfall uh, tomorrow. It also looks like Virginia and North Carolina, right on the border there, uh, probably close to where they've been having those earthquakes. Um is in an area of storms. Live Storm Chasers posted a video. It says yesterday in Panama City, Florida, remnants of Hurricane Marco. Permission from Sharon Meadows as of 82420. And there's some flooding there. And James Spann has flooding video of uh, Panama City Beach. Yeah, and there's a U.S. Postal Service uh, truck going through the flood water. They probably should not have done that. Now, according to worldwide weather warnings, as of 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time, 75 mile an hour sustained winds, 
a hurricane warning is in effect from San Luis Pass, Texas, to Intracoastal City, Louisiana. Uh, TS warning is in effect from Sargent, Texas, to San Luis Pass, etc. It just keeps repeating. So this is your last day to get out. This is your last day to prepare. No looky-loose, okay? Don't take chances like so many people have done in the past. Don't be a fool. Um, please stay safe. Um, if you have any information, any updates, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.